Hey everyone, Ken here. Do you have an old PC laying around? Do you have an older laptop that you can use to run a free open source media server? If the answer is yes, then you may want to keep watching this video. Jellyfin is a free software for your media system, your entertainment center, it's going to allow you to be in control of your own media. Open source, not closed. You don't have to spend any additional money outside of what you buy for hard drives or storage, things of that nature. And to get it, you click download now. So, it offers Docker, Ubuntu, Arch Linux. Um, it supports a variety of platforms. I'm a Windows guy when it comes to these things so I'm going to go down to Windows but feel free to get your operating system that you desire I'm going to click stable okay so when I'm here at stable <clears throat> the main thing that you want to pay attention to is the EXE here so I am running a 64-bit operating system so I'm going to want to download this first one right here I want to get it downloaded and I'm going to show you guys how to run it. I now have it installed. So, as you can see, the exe file is on my desktop. I'm just going to right click on it and I'm going to run this as an administrator. <clears throat> and you might be met with a pop up from Windows about an unknown publisher. You can click yes on that, that is fine. And you will just click next. Next. So you want to do a basic install, this is recommended. Or you can install Jellyfin as a service. And this method is only recommended for advanced users. Um, and additional setup is required to access network shares. So you can read both of these, but for this tutorial and this installation, I'm going to be running the recommended installation, which is the basic install. Okay, so you see here that you can choose your install folder. I will be doing on my regular C, but you can choose a different one if that is the case where you want to go. Next, you would choose your data folder. You would hit next, and the installation will go through. You can hit install from there, and it's going to run through the installation. <clears throat> Which shouldn't take long, so I'll I wouldn't pause here. We will hit close once it is complete. Okay, so after you finish the installation, you're going to have to go to where you install the server program too. So in my case, it was my C drive, which is my boot drive. And I will click on Jellyfin server and I'm going to scroll down until I find my Jellyfin Windows tray and then once you double click this it's going to be at the bottom so in the lower right hand corner of your screen you see here there's a Jellyfin server thing it's a tray click on it it's going to open up the auto start it's going to show you the stop start whatever you want to go to open Jellyfin and that's how you get the screen that we see here and let me close this out because we don't need that no more so we're going to go to welcome to Jellyfin and go to a quick start <clears throat> and let me delete this we're going to do username 
and you'll only have to do this one time as far as setting it and then you, you want to have to confirm it once again and everything should be good so for my username and password I'm just going to keep it to something that I can remember so for this demonstration I'm just going to do test 001 and have the same thing be for password just to keep things simple <clears throat> I'll save that alright next uh, you, you're going to want to add your media library so in this case for content type I'm going to be using an example from my YouTube channel so I can put other my display name is going to be YouTube nothing crazy and then from here I'm going to want to select my folders by clicking this add icon right next to folders <clears throat> so from here I'm going to um, link my folder and get everything set up from here okay so here I found my folder and I'm going to press OK and all of this could be rather default so preferred download language um, you're going to want to choose your preferred language in this case mine would be English I'm going to pick United States you can leave things at default if you wish to gather more metadata for your content you can start selecting things if you wish but because this is a YouTube video I don't have to tinker with any settings or change anything here I could just press OK and I will just go to next prefer a metadata language default <clears throat> configure remote access now for me um, I won't be doing remote access on mine for this example so I would hit no to uncheck that but by all means if you wish to configure your remote access then these would have to be checked um, you're going to have to check into your router settings when it comes to for any ports um, it may not work with some routers or models network configurations everyone's situation is different so please do your research and look into what you have and figure out what you want to do exactly it comes down to research in this case and that's it I'm gonna hit finish Hey everybody so as you can see I have my media here YouTube and it says latest and there's my video that here on my channel so there's going to be a part two to this on my Coco scope um, I'm going to set up a uh, different server that's going to show off um, what you guys may be more interested in let's say that but because of the term of services that I've changed here on YouTube and the nature of things this can be the best example possible that I can show you on this platform now if we go over to the right hand corner of the screen we're met with our username and let's head to playback so here you can set your audio settings and video quality things like that so if you have a surround sound system or soundbar that supports 5.1 or 7.1 this is where you can configure that here <clears throat> your preferred audio language your home network quality if you know that you have a strong network and you have you want to play things in the best quality then you can select it here or you can do it auto based on your internet connection at the time things like that auto is fine it supports Chromecast 
um, advance. If you have X265 content or better known as HEVC, you can select this option so that it's possible to direct stream that content on supported devices. So you can do a check mark here. Chromecast version, stable, like it's a decent number of options here that's going to get you up and running. And I'm going to hit save on that. And I'm going to go back to my home page. So before I end this video, um, I wanted to bring Jellyfan back to the forefront because at the end of the day, it's a free software to use. It's open source. Um, and you can use it as a home media um, server slash home entertainment center. It doesn't cost anything to set up. You don't need to pay anything outside of the storage that you're going to be planning on using with this device. Uh, if you have a spare laptop or older PC, this can definitely be a viable option. I mean, you would need to spend any additional money on any uh, software or let's say any media box for that example jellyfin is a perfect solution for you and your household if you want to minimize the cost if you have the hardware already available that's the key now there's going to be another um tutorial with, with this demonstration onto my coco scope that will be linked in the description of this video and we will go from there but until next time peace out hope you guys learned something from this and if you have any questions contact me via telegram or email me and thank you for watching my video goodbye